We're here with Ryan Blaney, driver of the number 12 car in the NASCAR Cup Series. Ryan, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. It, it, I was going to say, are you in your bus? Because I know it's race day, um, but, but I guess you're not. Where are you? I'm currently um, at a place. I've been staying on the beach down here. I got a buddy with, uh, with a house down here, so I'm, I was... I'm just about to head to the track right after I get off the call with you and get ready to go. Uh, the, the NASCAR playoffs are right around the corner for you guys. Obviously locked in with that win at Talladega. How ready are you guys to get to September and, and uh, get the NASCAR playoffs started? Really, really excited to get going. You know, it's um, fortunate that we're locked in. Um, it's just nice to be locked in, to go out and just try to win the race, gain your bonus points, and, and then get going with the first race of the playoffs next weekend in Darlington. So, um, you know, the, the main goal tonight is just go try to win the race. Uh, and that's, that's really what our mind's at. And then next week, you know, we know what, uh, what that race is about. And then the nine races after that. So it's just, it's that time finally, which is uh, really good to be here. Finally. So you see, finally, have you, how long have you been waiting for this? Have you been waiting for just getting going and playoffs and actually racing for, for something valuable for a long time? Yeah. All year, you know, all, yeah. all year you look forward to, uh, you know, you look forward to getting to the playoffs. Um, that's what that's what you race your whole regular season for, right? To build up your, you know, your stage points and your bonus points for, for the playoffs and get locked in and then really focus in on the last 10 weeks of the year uh, to try to figure out what you need to do to try to get to Phoenix and have a shot at it. You know, Team Penske, while you guys may not have the wins to show for it, you guys are all in the top six when it comes to the point standings. How much damage do you think Team Penske can do in the playoffs? And, and do you kind of like being slightly under the radar? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I think our cars have been pretty fast this year. Um, obviously, the 4 and the 11 have been the class of the field. Um, but I think our, our whole group, the Penske organization in general, like you said, it's nice to have three cars in the top six in points. Um, we'd like to have some more wins, obviously, under our belt, uh, in particular on the 12 team. But like we've let some slip away from us. Uh, but, you know, you hope you just put together a solid 10 weeks, you know, and you take one race at a time, um, you know, and try to get through each round and, and try to win as many races as you can. So hopefully we can bring the fight to those two guys, those two race teams. Uh, I think our group can do it. It's just a matter of executing week in, week out. You know, I, I've noticed now with everyone wearing masks, you know, I was wondering, did you have the stash, like the famous stash that we were talking about? I kind of like what you got going there. Uh yeah, no, I had it for a little bit and shaved it off, and and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna shave. Uh, I'm gonna shave here before the playoffs. So this week I'll I'll be uh -huh. clean face, and then then we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, it's hard to tell what people are doing with masks on. That's uh, it's been a little bit different. But um, I'll be I'll be cleaned up for the before Darlington, and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay, I was gonna say like remember the banquet way back. You had the mullet and the mustache. Yeah. Can, can we see that towards the end of the season? Like like the start of the playoffs, it's one thing, and then you just kind of grow it out yeah. towards the end. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. My hair is not that long right now, so. Uh, but yeah, you never know. Maybe we'll do a little playoff run and, and see what we can do. Exactly, just like a hockey player. Um, uh, I kind of kind of want to shift gears too off the racetrack as well. Uh, you've been posting some pictures of you and your dog, and I'm sure you've gotten a, a lot more time to spend with him at the racetrack. He's got such a cool name too, Sturgill. So, like, where did you come up with that name? Yeah, Sturgill. He's uh, named after Sturgill Simpson. Uh, Sturgill Simpson is a country player, a country artist that I really love. He's probably one of my favorites. Uh, I've been listening to him for a handful of years, and he puts out some really unique stuff and. Uh, I've never been able to go to one of his shows. That's been a goal of mine, but uh, I had a couple lined up this year, and then obviously everything happened. But um, that's how so that's how Sturgill got his name. Uh, but he's been good. It's been nice to spend some more time with him at home. You know, uh, not not being at the track, you know, for three or four days. So that part um, he's definitely liked for sure. Being at home more, he come to a lot of races with me. But uh, now you know, with one day shows, I, I can't really bring him. So, um, but it's nice to been able to hang out with him a little bit more. Hey, you mentioned, yeah, country music. Uh, obviously, a pretty big marriage between country music and NASCAR with the relationship going to Nashville next year. Uh, are you excited to kind of introduce some new markets next year? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, it's nice to uh, be able to go back to Nashville. Um, I wish it was the fairgrounds. Uh, <laughs> I raced the fairgrounds as a kid. It's a little bit shorter, smaller racetrack. Uh, it's a great, great little short track over there. But, um, you know, going back to the mile and a half uh, will be neat. 
So it's nice just to run, you know, run at these places that, you know, I, I don't think Cup ever ran at Nashville. It was always trucks and Xfinity cars. So uh, it's nice to bring some Cup races there. Um, it's just nice to get back in that city, that town. Uh, it's a great state, obviously. So um, it is cool that we can bring some newer tracks, um, you know, whether it's Nashville or even the Daytona road course, you know, a new layout. It's, uh, it's neat to see what NASCAR has going on. And I'm looking forward to seeing what else they have up in their sleeve uh, pretty soon. Absolutely. I think we're going to see some new things coming in the future. Uh, finally, I wanted to ask you, because on social media the past couple of months, it's been kind of a back-and-forth brand war between you and Chase Elliott going back and forth on who's got the better sponsors. I mean, clearly, for your bed, you think you got the better team in that front. Oh, that's right. That's right, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he gave me a – yeah, we had our little little body armor Mountain Dew kind of scuffle there for a little bit. And, <laughs> And then he, he he got me pretty good with, yeah, obviously he won the all-star race. And uh, he said he was going to deliver pallets of that stuff to my house. And I've never got them. So he never, uh, never went through with that. He's a big talker on that <laughs> side of it. But now we have fun with that stuff. And then, you know, advanced auto parts and Napa, obviously are competing brands. So we have, we have fun with that stuff. And, uh, you know, those guys like it, but um, that's been, that's been pretty fun to mess with each other a pretty good bit on that. And uh, it's, it's funny that people think we're actually, being serious with each other <laughs> um <laughs> like actual mad at each other or giving each other a hard time but um no that's that's been fun to do do you get that a lot because i know like even like i know we've talked about this before but like with the vacation stuff where you guys are kind of jokingly back and forth like how many people actually think you guys are like serious and like upset at each other a lot more than you'd think a lot of people <laughs> and they're really always all chase fans are like i can't believe you seriously didn't ask him to go oh my god <laughs> yeah and uh i'm like hey, listen it's a joke he never wants to come, so but they're always going to side with him, and I've just come to kind of deal with that. You know, I've come to kind of <laughs> accept that. So, but yeah, a lot of people think we're serious, which is funny, but uh, you know, they can think what they want. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what's next between you guys on social media and uh, what's next for you in the NASCAR playoffs, man. I wish you the best of luck these upcoming ten weeks. It's going to be a fun one to watch. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. Good seeing you.